Hey, CJ, it's Max. Uh, over the weekend, we received that uh, inspection objection, and I wanted to re take another look at uh, how we have your house priced, just to make sure that uh, I wasn't mistaken when I first put it on the market. So I'm going to just do a very simple analysis, not as in-depth as the one that we did earlier. Uh, I'm looking at all the houses within three months in the town of Parker that are detached single-family homes between 250 and 350. So everything in Parker in three months between 250 and 350. And if I go to the results, you'll see that there are houses, there's 28 houses in the last three months that are either un, under contract or sold. There's not one that's currently active. And when we're talking of the town of Parker, we're talking of a huge geographic area that goes way south, way east, way west, uh, and north. Uh, there's a lot of people, even in Elbert County, that list Parker as as their town. So uh, it's a big area. And right now, if you wanted to buy a house in Parker, that huge area for under $350,000, you'd have to wait because right now there's nothing available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify my search a little bit and I'm going to get rid of the ranches. Ranches are usually more expensive uh, and I'm going to say not a ranch. I don't want to look at ranches. So now my, my matches went down to 19 and then I'm going to go to the map search and I'm going to really key in on two areas. Your house really compares uh, a lot to the houses in Cottonwood. And so I'm going to just include the area of Cottonwood. I just want that group of houses there. And then I'm going to look at Parker North, where your house is. And uh, so from Lincoln and I'm going to go all the way to downtown Parker, but I'm just going to pull in those houses. So now I, I have a very specific search. I'm looking at houses in Cottonwood, not even really specific, but Cottonwood and Parker North between 250 and 350 that are single-family houses in the last three months. That's really the only criteria. So if I um, do a real simple analysis of this, and I look at the groups of houses, I'm going to only have two. There's going to be under contract these under contract properties, and then the sold properties. Again, there are none active under 350 in the town of Parker. So these under contract, yours is one of them on Donnelly, and it's uh, 1,666 square feet. And so it turns out that it's the largest home. It's bigger than, than all of them that are under contract, and it's the least expensive. So one thing that we know about your contract, because we don't know what these other contracts are, we know what they were asking. So this one went under contract in zero days. I would doubt that it, they probably came down in zero days. This one in five and six days, I, I would imagine that their uh, contracts are at or maybe even above this price here. And we know that, that you essentially came down $3,000 because these people... Uh, need three thousand dollars of their closing costs covered, uh, which isn't typical, but uh, you were willing to do that. So really, yours is at three twenty-five, which is significantly below these others, and, and it's the largest by a lot. Uh, yours is uh, two hundred square feet larger in in the. 200 square feet larger, that means it's uh, 20 by 10. So 
it's it's significantly larger that's a big area that's a big room 20 by 10 uh, it's probably like that big basement room that you have down there so you have a, a, a significantly larger house and it's at the lowest price 325 and that's in the under contracts but let's go look at the solds and uh, this again is three months of solds in Cottonwood and Parker North, detached single family houses in the last three months. And uh, if we look at what these sold for, again, if you look at the days on, on the market, you know, when they were one day on the market, they didn't come down at all. These guys, a week on the market, they came down a thousand bucks, you know, $1,800. This one sold for $100 more after six days. This one didn't come down at all. This one came down a little bit. This one didn't come down at all, and that one came down 2%. So, uh, you know, not a lot of movement there. But if we look at yours again, yours is this 1666, 1,666 square feet in all of these numbers right here. 1,666 square feet square feet so yours is a lot larger than these houses a lot larger and uh, the average price on these houses was uh, three hundred and forty two thousand dollars three hundred and forty two thousand dollars for a much smaller house now it might have they might have been fixed up so if we I think if you put ten thousand dollars into that house of yours you could do a lot. Uh, and so if you put $10,000, and I think that's probably what they're asking for. They're asking for about $10,000 worth of, of fixes. Um, if you went through the effort of putting $10,000 into the house on Donnelly, you wouldn't have a $335,000 house. Remember, uh, your house, the contract is at 325. So if you put three ten thousand dollars, you'd be at 335. I think you'd be more in line with these houses, uh, maybe even more because again, your house is significantly larger than every one but one of these. I think this is a two story that has a finished basement. So there's only one of the solds that. Uh, is larger than yours in the total square footage category. Yours is 1666 and this is 1862. So there's only one house that sold that is even close to yours actually. These others are significantly smaller and uh, for significantly more money. So uh, granted yours needs some fixing up but if we fixed it up, if you spent ten thousand uh, dollars, I don't think you would be in this in that same category. You know, you would be in this category, and it would be you'd be able to get three forty-two. So if you went back on the market, I think it's just time. Uh, you know, if we put it back on the market, it would be the only house that is priced under three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in Parker and uh, it's gonna get a lot of looks and so now that you have the new carpet in there I think that uh, you know this buyer that's currently under contract is the only person that saw the new carpet we were under contract uh, and then the carpet went in after that so uh, all of the new lookers are gonna see it with the new carpet uh, I think if you went in there and did uh, some of things to fix it up I think that we could uh, get it right back under contract pretty quickly so anyway uh, I just had to check my work and see if I was accurate but I do I think that we have it priced at a at an appropriate price it's larger but it's less expensive than the vast majority of what's been going on in Parker